For too long, if we're totally honest to each other, we, the sustainability movement, have been focusing too much on just the environmental challenges. And all the screams from society are now telling us, without attention for the human side, the people, the societal cohesion, we won't succeed. Sustainability professionals are a tribe which have to sort of also go through, overcome the confirmation bias which exists. Such an important thing to bring together everyone in business. Let's consider how we want to be as human beings. It's been really insightful, I have to say, just sharing the knowledge and sharing actually the journey that everybody's on is fantastic. This week is the most important week of the year. No one has the solution, but everybody has part of the solution. A very simple philosophy of bringing together a coalition of the willing and we put those people together and we work with them and we hope to be able to show the world through real business models that go into the market and really start to change people's lives. Large companies move forward their sector to higher standards by collaborating. They see cross-cultural collaborating, they see cross-functional collaboration, they see science and business coming together like never before. Coming here has has brought us more clarity. There are consultants, there are universities, there are social NGOs. As a member of WBCSD, we come and meet various other companies within our trade and in the other sectors. And that helps us to look at the same problem with a different lens. There's plenty of initiatives. All of you are doing great work. There's so many frameworks, templates, everything is going well. But collectively, do we have any chance to get to one and a half degrees as a max? Are we really solving the plastic issue? Is inequality on our agenda? Are we doing enough? Business is the most powerful change agent in any society. Business leaders who are in office today are making the choices that will change the systems, whether it's the food, the energy, the circular economy. We must transform systems. We are not only discussing trends, we set the trends here. We are looking into using 100% renewable energy in our entire value chain. Good leadership to me is to take a leap of faith and to show to the rest of the crowd, in our case uh, the bank but also the finance industry, that it's okay to be gutsy and to set up something of which the financial return is not immediately clear but to do it anyway, because you feel that it matters and it, it hits the hearts and minds and guts of people. We need to work together with a coalition with trust. And WBCSD is the opportunity to bring all together in a transparent way where we can all share our interests, our common interests, find this common ground and together define our plan. Here you've got a group of like-minded companies that are all ambitious and sometimes they want to take courageous steps, but they're not courageous enough to take them by themselves. But together you can. I'm here to meet with financial institutions who understand the need to transform our agricultural supply chains. We would not have set up the Agri3 Fund without the WBCSD. We get impact on the ground relatively quick, and I hadn't expected that to happen so fast. My key message today is we must get real. We're not on the winning hand yet. Systems need to transform. We need to scale up, scale up, step up. We want a world where nine plus, maybe 10 billion people will all live well within the boundaries of the planet. We as a group of positive thinking partners, we can make it. I wish all the best to us.